Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. Today's message is chosen ones. Stop worrying about these haters and naysayers. Stop worrying about the, what they're going to say, what they're going to think. Keep going about your business doing you, doing what you're doing because you're obviously doing something right that these people find uh, anything to say about you. They, they just have to nitpick at any little thing any little thing they just want to uh say so that they could try to discredit you stop worrying about these people stop worrying about what they're gonna say or think about you none of their opinions matter okay they're only saying these things to to talk down on you to discredit you so that when people look that they would think like how they think because they are jealous and envious of you in jesus name that's how true it is uh so uh i did want to read some scripture uh this is from mark 3 uh this is verse 23 to 27 so he called to so he called them to himself and said oh wait hold up 22 to 27 and the scribes who came down from jerusalem said he has bezebub and by the ruler of demons he cast out demons so he called to he called them to himself and said to them in parables how can satan cast out satan if a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand but has an end. No one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man and then he will plunder his house. Okay, so... Jesus was healing people, setting people free, and they were so jealous and envious, and um, they were hating on Christ, right? So they're like, oh, well, he is possessed. He has the spirit of Jezebel. He uh, cast out demons by the power of demons. And Jesus was like, are you serious? Do you even hear what you're saying right now? How can Satan cast out Satan? That doesn't even make any sense. If a kingdom were divided against itself, cannot stand. That makes no sense. But they tried to make something out of nothing because they were so mad and angry, bitter and jealous at Jesus and everything that he was doing because they were, they wanted to be like him, but they couldn't because we are men and we have our, our flesh. And when they looked at him, they saw how wretched they were and they didn't want the people to see them wretched because they were putting up a front like they were perfect. And the people, when they saw Jesus, then they saw this is what a true man of God is, not whatever these Pharisees and scribes are trying to portray because they're trying to portray like they're perfect, right? He said uh, they're like a, a cup. On the outside, it looks all clean, but on the inside, it's so filthy and dirty because they were hiding everything that they were doing, right? They weren't... Um, letting people know that they too fall sometimes. They too have uh, certain things that they have to get right. They are not perfect. And um, Jesus set the standard and they hated him. And I just wanted to let you guys know if they hated Jesus, they're going to hate us. If they tried to discredit Jesus, they're going to try to discredit us. If they said that he was possessed by demons and working through the power of demons, they're going to say the same thing about us. Okay, no matter what we do or what we say, how we go about it, they will say anything and anything to discredit us. To, because by discrediting us, they think that they're going to discredit God. Okay, so chosen ones, don't worry about what these people have to say, what these people think. Don't even have that on your mindset of, oh, this person is going to say this. Oh, they're going to think this about me. Don't care. Stop, stop caring because we're not here to please men. Okay, we're here to help people and guide them to the light. We're here to motivate people, inspirate, inspiration. Uh, we're here to spread God's truth, God's word. We're here to bring hope to the hopeless. We're not here to please men because when we walk in our authority and we're, when we're preaching the gospel, we're not going to please men. Okay, most of the people will hate us. Okay, they hated Jesus. When he was doing it, they're going to hate us too. They threw him out of the synagogues. They would throw us out of the synagogues. Okay, so I want you guys to remember everything that Jesus went through. We will go through similar situations, similar things will happen to us. Similar things that they said about Jesus, they will say about us. People will try to destroy your character, 
don't worry about it because your character your spirit that the holy spirit has given to you will speak for itself so when these people try to say x y and z about you and you're the total opposite then the people that they're saying it to are going to look at you and be like um you're saying that they are possessed by demons but when i look at them i see all these fruits of the spirit so that doesn't even make any sense you understand oh you're saying she's this you're saying he's that but when i look at them i see different because they see the truth rather than the lies that these people are trying to spread so don't worry about these people what they have to say what they think don't worry about that only worry about pleasing god because that's all that matters in jesus name as you guys can tell i am getting better uh i wouldn't say i'm 100 percent, but i would say I'm, I'm almost there and i'm just so thankful because I just it, it just felt like forever and I know everybody knows how it is when you get sick and it's not a good feeling especially when it is lingering and is not going away but I'm so thankful that the Holy Spirit has filled me up with his spirit has um, lifted me up has healed me and has helped me to get better okay and um, I still have to make a video i want to make a video talking a little bit about florida and disney um for you guys so that should be coming soon god willing in god's perfect timing i pray you all have a blessed and wonderful day and i love you all